It was very common in the 70s, 80s and 90s and early 2000s for a family to use blank VHS tapes and record their favourite TV shows. Most of the time, tapes have been recorded over numerous times. And now it's up to me to find the last mystery VHS tape and see what shit we can salvage. This is Mystery Tape Time. Alrighty, alrighty, alrighty. Alrighty guys, we are back with the 12th episode. This is the end of the month. Oh, I think there's still one more Wednesday, isn't there, this month? Okay, I have to kind of do a bonus mystery VHS tape. Uh, this is the man from Snowy River and Rodeo Clips, it says on here. Man from Snowy River and Rodeo Clips. Electromagnetic video. Never seen that fucking label and brand before. Uh, so, man from Snowy River, by the way, I'm Robbie Hollywood, and welcome all back to the show. Make sure you've subscribed down below and click that bell icon, It's every Wednesday we bring you another one of these goddamn videos from that goddamn big box that I brought. So, man from Snowy River, we know it's going to be 80s. I've already watched this, I've converted it straight to the computer from the VHS, and now I'm going to show you all the best bits, but... Of course, what's my favorite fucking part of the video is when you put the video in the VHS player and the first thing that plays on the tape, because sometimes it isn't what it's labeled. So let's do this! Which way I figure it. Nope. So there was no doubt about it. This was the man from Snowy River VHS taped off TV. But unfortunately, with this tape, all the ads were cut out. They cut out all the ads. So once this finished, though, there was uh, what's written on here: rodeo clips. So they've taped some rodeo shit on here. Some very weird stuff. Then we do get some uh, ads later on, but. Now we got the rodeo clip. Your glove doesn't give to the rope here. You've got a solid jerk and it'll slide on out of that. Town in California. I'm not a big fan of rodeo. Uh, as you see, blokes riding on horses and uh, trying to catch cattle and who can stay on the bull the longest. Uh, the only time I actually watch it is just to see people get hurt. Um, there's nothing like seeing someone get thrown off a bull and the bull fucks them up. So hopefully that's what we can see on this video today. This guy looks like he's about to get fucked up, hopefully break his leg, but he doesn't. Rodeo clowns are always my favourite to see get fucked up by the bulls. Uh, this guy's getting absolute fucked up by the bull right now. He deserved it. They always cry about it. They deserve it. So there's nothing like uh, seeing some uh, pain get inflicted by these idiots. Look at this. You grab the tail. What do you expect? Do you expect the hooves to fucking come up and hurt you? Uh, I, I, we're gonna fast forward through this shit because I don't like this crap. But what was up next was great. Don't know why this is on the tape, but this is brilliant. This is the World Belly Flop Championships. 15 unique individuals who come together in competition People who spend most of their life simply falling flat. Oh my god, this is great. I did not know this even existed. Belly flop championships. <laughs> the bigger the competitor, the bigger the splash. The bigger the splash, the better your chances of winning. For in the World Championship Belly Flop Competition, not only does it matter how you enter the water, but what you enter the water with. A flaming cape would certainly be of great help. Then there's a 280-pound grandmother of seven. This is passionate Peggy Williams from Kingston, Ontario. Like her fellow competitors, you have to be willing to go for it. If I was that big and I was entering the competition, I would 100% light my cape on fire like he did. That was awesome. 
One of the fat guys should dress up as Spider-Man and jump in like fat Spider-Man. That would be cool as well. Let's keep going with this. You know, it's just makes you feel good. The people came out and support you, and there's so many people out here. And another thing I like about it is in this sport, people seem to accept larger people. And it makes it a little easier. Get out. Mr. Gator, you're either inbred or you're fucking cooked off your head. This is the man who would be crowned the 1985 world champion belly flopper. He's Randy Stumped Williams of Central Florida. Randy, how do you feel after the competition? So we've established this video now is 1985. 1985, do we? Have we had a 1985 yet? We have not had 1985 yet. You have to tip your toes to the top of your head. This is right. He deserved that championship. He earned that championship. Master's Chalk Milk is beautiful and we all grew up with that when we were kids. That was a bloody good ad. I like seeing the Master's Chalk getting drunk by all the girls in the bikinis who didn't back when you were a kid. Have a night out at a restaurant that is definitely different. The Pasta Place. The Pasta Place is one of Perth's most popular all-inclusive Italian restaurants. Why is it different? The Pasta Place makes their own pasta fresh daily. The food is served to you as you wish. No rush, rush, rush. And you can sing along with the resident artist. But best of all, drink as much as you like from our specially designed chilled wine barrels. The Pasta Place. Everything the others try to be but can't quite match. 74 Francis Street, Northbridge. Try it. Drink as much as you you like from their wine barrels people would have been going home fucked up especially because this was only in Perth and in Northbridge fuck off dog shit fly fuck and I would have been pissed off fucking at a restaurant with some little prick fucking standing at the table playing fucking acoustic guitar singing kumbaya while you're trying to eat your pasta fuck off mate I don't want to hear you fucking sing kumbaya while I eat my fucking pasta <laughs> Well, over the past year, plenty has been said and written about the growing violence in sport. We thought we'd find out what the people of Perth thought on this alarming problem. We all love violence in sport. Who doesn't love violence in sport? So let's see what these people from 1985 had to say about violence from sport. Stop it, because it's a competition sport. So, and tempers get high, you know, so tempers flare and then there's violence. We don't want to stop it, buddy. We like the violence in sports. It's people like you that wanted it stopped. Fucking ruined our game. I think the parents are getting violent. My children play t-ball and the parents on the sideline, they're not encouraging. They really get out there and kill virtually. It's really bad. That's called supporting your children and having the will to win, lady. If you don't have the will to win, don't be there. Don't be there. Your kids must be shit sitting on the bench. Cause I gotta get out there and fight. Um, I suppose it's an integral part of football, isn't it? Do I like it personally? No. Um, I just... Yeah, you don't like it? Well, good on you. You're a fucking silly old prick. Fuck off. I disagree with it. I don't think it's necessary. I think sport has lost the true meaning of the word sport. There's not enough um, children sort of doing exactly what they should be. The parents are sort of pressuring them to uh, out to win all the time instead of... Correct. If you don't win, you're a loser. You don't win, you're a loser. Winner or loser? Win. Oh, it, I don't like it at all. What is that? Um, especially in the soccer, that, you know, it um, uh, disgusts me actually to see it on TV. I wish I, wish I could do something about it. Uh, I don't know what. <laughs> <laughs> It's all brought about by too much money in it. That's my opinion of it. And uh, the need to stay on top to get the money. And if it wasn't there and it was just sport for the sake of sport, it'd be a whole different ballgame. Mm. 
I'd say, hmm, too, after his little fucking piece he said, because he didn't make any fucking sense. He was a stupid little prick. And he almost made a comb over of the week. Couldn't see it properly, but he almost made a comb over of the week. One of our viewers, and I'd like to read it, actually. Sure. America's Cup to me means nothing. And why should it? People are being evicted in some areas already. So owners of these properties can make a killing on rent under the impression the cup belongs to Australians. Wrong. It belongs to the people who can afford it. As the old saying goes, the rich get richer, the poor get poorer. Even in sport. Pity, really. And it's from Jay Weensing, an average Australian man. Well, Jay Weensing, you're a stupid little prick. And you're not an average Australian man, because most people wouldn't give a fuck about what you fucking just said. And we're all average Australian fucking people, so... You're a whiny little fucking prick. Oh, well, the rich get richer, and the poor get poorer. <laughs> if anyone knows this Jay Weensning, or Weensning, whatever the fuck his name is, fucking uh, tell him to jump in the comments. I'd love to have an interview with him one day. Fucking, uh, I want to know what he meant when he wrote this crap. We'll be back shortly on What A Week. How's that? <laughs> <laughs> How wasted was he? He was fucking wasted. Alright guys, that is all what was worth showing on this tape. The man from Snowy River. Uh, not one of the greatest tapes, but uh, it was 1985. So, let's chuck 1985 up on the board. We have 12 videos that have been uh, mystery tapes so far. And... Um, there's all the years that we've uh, encountered, a couple of double ups so far, and um, been happy with this uh, mystery tape box so far that we've uh, got all these tapes, and we have so many more. There's over 100 tapes. I think there's about 120 tapes in there, so it's pretty cool. So we got enough to do an episode each week for the next couple of years. Um, if no one starts watching, uh, we'll just uh, stop doing it, or should I just keep doing it? Do you want me to keep doing them? I think I'm going to keep doing them no matter what. Uh, I enjoy watching these tapes to see what's on them and you never know what ads are going to be on them. Alright guys, make sure you subscribe, you like and you click the thumbs up and you hit the bell icon. We've got other stuff on this channel. Uh, heaps of different stuff, you know what I say it every week. Go back and watch the other videos if you haven't seen them. Uh, I don't know what the best video is so far. I don't know, I'll let you guys decide what the best video was. Alright guys, I'll be back next week with another mystery video. Uh, until then, take it easy. See you. Thank you.